Do you want some actually good mobile games to play, but you don't want to spend the time to sift through all of the junk? That's where I come in. I'm gonna be sharing some good mobile games that I've been playing recently, but before I do so, please leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below any of the current mobile games you're playing. The more the merrier, and I may just share it in a future video. All right guys, let's get right into it. First up, I have been playing Rogue Blade. Now, I had no clue what to expect on this one. I kind of downloaded it off of a whim. And this is a really interesting card game where you draw cards that actually order your character around on a 2D plane, such as moving left, right, turning around, and then doing various actions such as attacks in order to defeat enemies and complete levels. It has a very unique flavor, and I've really been enjoying it. It's something I haven't seen done quite like this before. I've been looking forward to Athenian Rhapsody for so long, and it's finally released, and if you've ever played Mother 3 or Undertale or Earthbound, this kind of has a similar vibe to that with its art style and personality. This game is wacky and it is very unique. It's an RPG with all kinds of different gameplay elements and mechanics, such as super weird mini games. I have no clue what to expect for the rest of this game, and you won't either. I don't want to ruin or spoil too much by saying too much. Just go download the demo and try it out. The emulators keep on flowing with PPSSPP. Now this is a PSP emulator and I think it's one of the most underrated handholds of all time, especially when it comes to RPGs and JRPGs. And that's why I had to try out Ease 7 on this. If you've never played an Ease game, Ease 7 is a fantastic entry and my favorite of the series, but there's so many other good games here. Make sure you download ones that you currently own so that you don't get into trouble. And uh, yeah, just go enjoy it, it is crazy. AFK Journey has gotten me into idle RPGs again, including Legend of Hunters. Now this game's art style is amazing in my opinion, and this focuses on your character exclusively, where you level up, you obtain more gear, you get stronger, all through killing enemies and bosses through levels. And you have seen this all before, it doesn't do anything groundbreaking, but what it does, it does very well. And it has a really cool kind of just run of the mill idle battle system too on top of that. So if you want a stress-free RPG, this might be it. Last but not least, I have been playing Mega Road. Now this is a game similar to Vampire Survivors or that genre. I know it's very oversaturated and this one's gonna get overlooked because of that, but this game's art style is also immaculate and it has a lot of personality and instead of being a roguelike, it has levels to complete and continuous progression, as well as characters with great personalities and a storyline to boot. This has a lot of heart and actually deserves your attention instead of all the other clones on the App Store. All right, guys, those were five games that I've been playing recently and that I've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below any games you're currently enjoying, and I may just feature it in a future video. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.